ஏ ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் எஸ்ஏபிஎஸ்டி அண்ட் அபேப் லீக் சப்போர்ட் ஸோ லாஸ்ட் வீக் ஐ டுக் இன்டர்வியூ ஃபார் அரவுண்ட் டென் கேண்டிடேட்ஸ் ஆல் ஆர் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் கேண்டிடேட்ஸ் ஓன்லி மோர் தென் ஃபைவ் ப்ளஸ் இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் அண்ட் மேக்ஸிமம் லெஸ் தென் நைன் இயர்ஸ் so i asked the same question to all the candidates that is so how to test whenever we add any custom field to the standard transaction codes like uh, for example order screen level addition data a addition data b tabs are there right screen numbers are 8309 and 8459 and this for order and we can add this invoice also at delivery also we can add the field right so whenever we add any custom fields so what is the basic thing that we need to test it whether the field addition is working fine without impacting any existing standard behavior i asked this question to several people but uh, they are not able to give me the accurate answer therefore i would like to share that with you guys okay so whenever we add any custom field in the for example we are adding one custom field in the order screen header level or item level okay so first thing we should verify is that field appearance and screen integration so what does this step mean so in this step we should we should uh, test and validate that field display so we should verify whether that field is correctly displayed or not in the window in that uh, tab this is the first validation we should do second is that field label so for every field we see we see one label right so for example if you see this screen right here we see metal group 1 middle group 2 like this and we see the input field here this input field and this is a label for that field so we should verify whether the field label also displayed or updating correctly it should be correctly displayed as per the requirement from the business so this is the second validation under this first step then field placement suppose if a client asks that i want this field should be in the right top right side or bottom of the window or middle of the tab somewhere so he will they will specify the placement of that field accordingly we should display that field that's the placement validation that we should do okay these are the main three validations under this first step field appearance and screen integration okay the second is that so we should verify the field behavior or data entry suppose if this field for example this field metal group 1 right this field should update automatically no manual intervention is required here okay in this case this field shouldn't allow us to edit this field it should be grayed out only in the creation mode or change mode or display mode okay it should be grayed out only that's the one thing that is input validation and one more thing that we can specify here is that if this field is relevant for any text input field you should accept only test only and if you enter any number here in this field 
then it should accept it should throw some error and if it is not throwing any error then it's an issue it's a defect only right if it is in a alphabetic field it's a character type data element then it should accept only character only if it's an alphanumeric means it should accept both number as well as digits only and if it is in a number field you should accept only the number only and if it's a date field you should accept only the date only then according to the nature of the field you should accept the data and mandatory check okay sometimes if this is if this is a mandatory field as per the client requirement then that should we should verify that how should we verify that without entering any data to this field if you save that order or delivery or invoice then system should throw the error message saying that it's a mandatory field right there should be another validation that we should do next field length suppose this field length is 10 characters and if we are entering more than 10 then system shouldn't accept that you should accept only the less than or equal 10 only right that's the next validation and default value is there any requirement from business to verify that it will always carry some default value or not that should be verified that okay this is the third validation from this sorry fourth validation from this second point field behavior and data entry okay next one is data handling so in this step if uh, if we input some data right if we input some data into the field then that transaction will be saved after the transaction has been saved then we should verify in change mode of the transaction or display mode of the transaction and see same value appears or not right if you enter something in the creation of in a transaction it's saved now but when you say when you open that uh, transaction or display the transaction means either in change mode or display mode then every time it should behave the samely same manner and it should hold the same value only if it is differing means then that's an issue right and moreover in the edit mode okay in the edit mode system should allow us to edit the data it depends on the requirement of the client only if the client says that creation of a transaction only that field will be editable once it is saved and then we try to open that in change transaction that time you shouldn't be allowed to edit sometimes it's required to edit sometimes it might not require to edit it depends on the client requirement so this should be tested in the edit data concept the change transaction we should edit it it should be allowed or not allowed depends on the client requirement only right so these are the two points that we should remember in case of data handling step okay third one is negative testing again same thing if you add invalid data entry system shouldn't accept that right and uh, sometimes uh, that field should always carry some data right so if you if we keep that field as in a blank then system should uh, throw some uh, warning message or message to uh, make us uh, aware that please enter some data to this field so it is kind of a mandatory check only we can say it is a mandatory check okay so these are that uh, negative testing and one more point we can add here is that length validation 
suppose if the length of that uh, field is 10 means system shouldn't allow us to enter more than that length that's one validation and if we enter less than that length it should accept more than means it shouldn't accept like like that kind of validation should be done and it's similar to the field behavior only okay the next one is that integration with standard processes so whenever we add any custom field there is a reason behind adding that field correct suppose we had one field that is used to use it for pricing purpose right so in this case this field should correctly populate in the pricing structures that means we should create some uh, condition records for that uh, for the particular condition type where this new field has been added and suppose that's one scenario of rising and uh, if in the output on the output processing right so if you want to display the data in that output level then also we should uh, verify that testing in output layout as well so so pricing level we should verify and outputs we should verify and copy controls so we should verify that whether this data should transfer to the succeeding transactions or not right this is one of the thing that we should do okay so next is that integration with standard report stand process basically okay okay what we can do we can keep the same point here itself okay so reports okay so if there are any custom reports are available right which will display the data from order to billing right so in that case also this custom field data should populate in that report that we should verify and the next one is that user exits fm enhancements customer exit and body see whenever we add any custom field then there should be some logic written in the background for this particular field right how to populate the data to the field and how that should transfer to the database table level right so to update any kind of field values to the database table means then we should identify the relevant uh, programs customer exit or user exit and write our logic to update the data to the database table level right so custom logic should be written and so we should add some consistency check also okay these are the two things that we should do here and the next one is that that authorization and security so if it is generic field anyone can access this field but if it is relevant to particular user right then we should restrict that 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 user only can access this field either update or remove the entry data what is there in that field anything right that can be done by that that user only so that's called field authorization
and one more thing is that this field addition can be done with help of this particular transaction only see for example there is one field in order level right so system should indicate that the field can't be changed in the va02 or va01 for example that field should be added or updated through one custom report only that means it shouldn't allow the user to modify that but that can be updated through custom report only right so when we when we, when we want to update the field values for a mass we have some lakhs of uh, or thousands of transactions are there and we have added one custom field and for the whole transactions if we want to update that custom field means definitely no one can go thousand times to that order thousand orders and do the updation manually it's not required at all right so we will go with the custom report development and through that report only we will do that updating of that custom field so this is the one of the authorization that we can keep it it depends on the client only if this if they say it is required then we can do that or else we can ignore it okay so the next is that performance testing so after adding this field what issue happening is it per, is the screen responding very quickly okay are data load testing if the field is likely to hold large amounts of data then test the system's performance under these conditions right so these are the two things that we should keep in our mind screen performance so new field means it's an screen it will impact the screen performance only so in the tangle also we should test it so the next thing is that we should do end to end testing so sometimes what will happen some order data will flow to logistics level or finance level right in that cases we should do the cross module integration testing like uh, mm um, fi etc that we should verify that right so we, these are that uh, few important points that i analyzed as per my experience so these are the testing that needs to be done if you think some other things also requirements please do let me know we can add that hope this video will be very helpful to you guys we can catch up in the next video bye for now thanks everyone